Hello everyone and you're welcome to our 2D game development using GDevelop. GDevelop is a free 2D game engine. It's 100% free, you don't need to pay for anything. I'll show you how you can use this app, this software to actually make a game. So let's go ahead and go through the game we're going to be building in this course. I'll click on preview and I'll explain the sections of our game and I'll show you what you can build. So first of all, we are actually going to learn how to import these art assets. Assets include the game background and the character as well. One thing I'd like to quickly mention is that GDevelop is a 100% free game engine that also does not use any coding as well. You can use JavaScript, but it is a visual scripting language. This means you don't need to write computer code in order to build this game. So I'll show you how you can create a character, import the character's assets, and make the character jump in our scene. Notice if our character is moving, you can actually see these dust particles at the feet of our character. And if our character jumps, you can see that as well. There is audio playing, but for the clarity, of this recording, I turned off the audio so you can hear what I'm saying. Next, I'll show you how you can import these assets, import the enemy assets, import the character assets, and I'll also show you how you can create a health bar and a key system. I'll also show you how you can create a pushable block where you can push these blocks and show you how you can create a crate such that when you open that crate, it will spawn an object. Speaking about the enemies, I'll show you how to add enemy behavior and make the player destroy the enemy when the enemy collides with the player's feet. Also, we'll create a ladder system where you can jump over. And I'll also show you how to create a portal where if I press down, my player is going to teleport here. If I press up, my player is going to teleport as well. I'll also show you how you can pick up a key that is required to open a door and how to create enemies that spawn bullets, especially when you're on range. I'll also show you how to create a fader screen that's going to fade to black each time you reach the end of the level, just to give you that traditional smooth 2D game effect. So those are the things we're going to be doing in this course. All these assets are totally free. We didn't, I didn't pay for these assets, including some of the assets I made using other software. You're going to also get those assets as well. Another thing we're going to do is to actually um, let the player health increase each time the player eats a health. So I'm so excited to get started with this course. I can't wait to see the course. If you have any questions, feel free to use the forum to ask any questions and I'll be willing to answer your questions. In the next lesson, I'll show you where to download, how to download and install GDevelop. Thanks for watching.